What is up everyone? Thanks for joining me on another video. Today's video, if you didn't realize by the thumbnail or the title because you can't read or see anything, um, we are going over two different belts, two different styles of belts for concealed carry. We have the Hunter Constantine concealed carry belt and we have a Core Essentials concealed carry belt. Let's go over this. So right off the bat, if you don't know, now you know. Um, if you don't know the difference of these belts, the Hunter Constantine, the Hunter Constantine concealed carry belt is a belt. The back half is pretty elastic, and then the front half, I believe there's the metal sh uh, metal strip in there or whatever, but the front half is pretty firm, stiff. Then moving over to something like the Core Essentials belt or other comparable belts like this. We have this regular buckle system and the belt itself is pretty stiff. Oh, well, there's too much, there's a lot of weight on that end, but it's a pretty stiff belt and the entire thing, there's obviously no give to this. Some may see this as a benefit, some may not, but let's uh, go over a couple things. So one other thing I forgot to mention with the Hunter Constantine belt, this, there is a hook because I kind of explained how a regular belt works. There is a hook, there is that piece right there. You kind of latch it together and that's what hooks it together. So let's go over some more pros and cons of each, I would guess. Uh, first, let's go over the Hunter Constantine belt. So something like this, so far I've been carrying this, um, I don't know how many months at this point, but I have been enjoying this belt. So one thing I have noticed with this belt, um, with it being stretchy, there is a little bit, a there is a little aspect of printing a little bit more. Uh, it's also a little bit more annoying to put on. Let's do the concealed carry, let's do the Constantine, let's do the Constantine, yeah, words. Let's do the Hunter Constantine belt first. We will just uh, thread this on. So first we got the Hunter belt on. Throw that on, let's throw a magazine of the gun. So first of all, that is how we're looking right here. The wind isn't helping, but obviously there is a little bit of magwell sticking out right there and magazine, but um, just your normal life, just normal day-to-day -day life, um, it would kind of be like that-ish. I mean, like I said, there is a little bit of, a there is a little aspect of printing with this belt, at least from what I've noticed. Maybe because I don't have it cinched down as tight as it could be. With the pants that have a little bit of stretchiness to them, um, it is pretty good. That is, it, it, it does move around a little bit more when you crouch down. There is a little bit of give in the belt, so you don't kind of like dig your gun into your gut for um, not as skinny people like me. That's what we're looking like, it's not bad. Let's switch over to the Core Essentials belt quick. Now, with Core Essentials, this is, don't worry about this little thing sticking out, it's my belt loops in a horrible spot. But with the Core Essentials belt, um, this, you could get it tucked down nice and tight if you wanted. There is the concealment claw on the holster, so it's just gonna actually pull it in a little bit more. So as you see there, it's barely anything sticking out there. If we pull it a little tight, a little bit. But the downside of this is when you go to bend down, it just stays the same. There's no give in it. So it kind of squeezes in pretty tight. Like, it squeezes down a little firmer than you may want. It's really not horrible either way. Um, I think I prefer the little stretchiness of the, the Constantine belt just because it has a little bit of give. And I mean, it's not as big of a deal if you have like a regular pair of jeans on that don't have any stretch to them. So you could get it cinched down nice and tight, but um, just overall, just moving around, you feel the belt more. Like just me moving my legs like this, you feel it kind of constrict on, the, on yourself a little bit, but um, give and take with each belt. So now that we went over just a quick like concealment or whatever and real world use of the belt, um, the adjustment system, just the way the Hunter Constantine belt is, Possibly, I don't know if there's changing to that, but it's not the greatest for adjustability. So let's first, Core Essentials, my, uh, the adjustability on this is fantastic. The uh, only thing, this belt buckle is a little bit extra. So you gotta remember that, you got that extra thickness of belt buckle. So whenever I put it on, I always 
put the belt buckle off to the side because then holster is going to sit around right in your front at 12 o'clock, at least for me. Uh, but there's a little ratcheting system on the back here. It's infinitely adjustable. You need a little bit more, just click it. And then you're stuck. And then there's a little latch right there if you want to undo it. And then you got it loose again. Um, pretty convenient, especially in and out of cars. So if you're going to get in your car quick, you can kind of just like undo a couple ratchet levels and get it looser. Then when you get out of the car, you can just pull it in nice and tight. And then there's that. So there is that aspect to it, which is nice. But like I said before, when you have it tight, you definitely feel it more during the day. The Constantine concealed carry belt. This is getting pretty difficult to say the more I say it. It's like tongue twister at this point, but you have this little hook guy, you have the elastic there, and this belt only gives you two little hook guys to, to go on, so, so you have that, and then you want it a little bit tighter, you undo it, and you go there, and you got it a little tighter. Uh, your main thing is this metal thing here. It is pretty annoying to adjust, I'm sure if you do it more, you get more used to it. It's like quadrupled up in some spots, like right here specifically. So if you wanted to get it a little bit like tighter, it's like, okay, hold on, let me pull that. And then I gotta pull this guy in to pull that, to pull that. All right, I got it a little bit tighter. That was probably about two notches on the other guy, but as you see, it's a little bit more annoying to do, deal with, but it's not a big deal. Once you get it set, kind of like set it and forget it, like whatever that rotisserie chicken thing was. Not a bad thing. Um, I believe for a thousand dollar delivery fee, you could actually have Hunter Constantine deliver it to your house, so that's kind of cool. I don't know. I mean, I guess if I was rich, maybe I would do it just because, but other than that, I don't think you could go wrong with either belt. Uh, just kind of, just somewhat like pick your poison. Some people like it super latched in and tight to your body with no movement at all. And some people like the Hunter T Hunter Steen, Hunter Constantine concealed carry belt because it has a little bit of give and it kind of moves with your body. So um, I know I've heard from people saying with back problems or it can cause back problems from just this being like so stiff all the time and like squeezing down on you. Um, I don't know how true that is. I've never had an issue either way, but that's a thing I've heard. Go out, get a belt. Tell uh, Hunter Constantine to send me an extra one. I'll take one. They have the little one with the Velcro now. So if you want to go to the range wearing that one, then you could uh, just put on your range belt over that. I'll take that. Send me one. Belt. So guys, that is it. Uh, I am obviously, I am not sponsored by anyone. So buy whatever damn belt you want. I don't really care. There's a other companies out there as well. There's just the two I have experience with. If you have any questions about anything said in the video, if it made sense at all, I guess, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Use the Amazon links down below to help the channel out and stuff like that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, stay strapped or get clapped. There's a guy on a dirt bike. Not smart guy. It's uh, pretty well known here that everyone shoots in that direction on this big uh, backstop. It's kind of what everyone comes here for. Uh, if you're gonna be riding a dirt bike or something like that, go on the other side.